Did you know you can go underground in Utrecht? That's exactly what we're gonna do. Hey, welcome to Utrecht. Very rainy. Very I mean, cold you know, Utrecht. what do you expect? It's November in the Netherlands. Uh, we have a day planned here in Utrecht, which is we're about 40 minutes south of Amsterdam where we live. What are we doing today, Katrina? We're gonna go underground. Underground. And then way above ground. Bird's eye view. Nice. The good thing about going underground is that we don't have to deal with the weather. So. Oh, good point. You're smart. I know. I need a coffee or a sugary something. So let's go find that. Spilled some of my espresso on my hand because I'm clumsy. We got a little preview of our history lesson. We learned that the Roman wall that we're gonna go see underground soon ran right through that coffee shop. She was very nice in there. She was like, move a little bit this way and you're gonna be standing on the Roman Empire wall. Cause don't you think about the Roman Empire like five times a day or that, something? That's the meme, I guess. <laughs> we actually had almond milk at this cafe. I swear to God, I can't find almond milk at any cafes in Amsterdam. We have oat milk, okay. I'll put some dirt in there, it would taste the same, but. Your life is hard. I wanted some apple cake and Katrina didn't seem to want apple cake. We got the apple cake and then I said, why didn't you want this? She's like, because the whole case was filled with flies. And now she's having me eat the apple cake. This spoon, this is dumb. Like, come on. It tastes a little bit like apple cake covered in fly dirt. Kidding. It's fine, it's good, it's dense. I like apple desserts. Oh crap, we need to go to the underground tour. We have to finish this and go. It's actually a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. We've been segregated into the English speaking group. It's for the best. This is Trajectum, and Trajectum is the old name of Utrecht, first name of the city. 210. Pimped it up, they made it larger, they filled the square up. Okay, we're going underground now. Five meters underground? 15 ish feet? Generation after generation, people added layer upon layer. I literally feel like there's a spotlight on me right now. So they give you a flashlight and you light up little reflector sticker things in the excavation site here and then it plays you a piece of information in history about what you're looking at. An audio tour integrated with, kind of reminds me of the like Ghostbusters, like you know, shoot the ghost. I wish it was, but it is not. Romans were the first to bring writing to these parts. Many objects show letters and texts. And so does this terra sigillata. Shining a bright light in your face while walking upstairs. Bad idea. Yeah, thanks a lot. Sorry. Die underground in Utrecht. Look at the artifacts. You look at the artifacts. This seems super dangerous. What was that? Did you hear a monster? be part of our haunted series. Do you think that's real? The bones and stuff? I think that's real. Yeah? It's kind of creepy, but I like it. You, you like skeletons? I mean, look, it's like history. Far away, a terrifying tempest. What have you learned today? Mother Nature is powerful, and Utrecht will never be the same after that great storm of yonder years of yore. Heavy rain. And wind. It is kind of cold though. You go 
literally underground, like right in the middle of the Dom Square. Like, I think that's kind of cool. It's not like they take you in some building and you go down. This is just like an opening in the middle of the square. Now we are getting ready for our tower tour. So we've gone underground. Now we're going to go far above ground. This is also the tallest church tower in all of the Netherlands. I have a question as we're waiting for this tour to start. How many stairs? 400 and something. Are you serious? Have you learned nothing? If there's something we can climb, <laughs> I'm gonna make you climb it. We're starting, we're starting, we're starting. And om daar te komen moeten we 465 trappen. There is water all over the lens. The tower is covered in scaffolding, ah. so it doesn't even look very good. And we've lost our group. We're we're behind. Brickwork is very nice in here, very even. My OCD is happy. This is just the beginning of a lot of climbing. Yeah, but we're gonna take breaks, she said. The fireplaces are noticeably smaller than Castle de Har, which is also a new trend. <laughs> Help me. Well, are you sweating? Or no, it's, okay. it's, I'm not sweating. It's freezing in here. I know. Ask me in about 30 minutes, though, I'll probably just... Whoa, shit. That's pretty narrow. I've heard, like, it's a little claustrophobic in some areas. So. Hundred, two hundred and one. Whoa. <laughs> Seriously, need to work on my cardio. We're standing here in the classical This is the bell attic. They still ring these by hand. I believe they said they're the oldest bells still rung by hand in the whole world. This bell behind me is the biggest one. I think his name is Salvador. He has a name. He weighs over 8,000 kilograms. <laughs> bell facts. outside now. This is a perfect day for this. It's so nice. So we are almost there. This is the last floor before we reach the top. Now we're heading up to the very top, but it's raining outside, so I don't know how much we're going to be able to see and for how long. Ah, this is not the side to be on. <laughs> Gorgeous day. We tracked 460 some odd stairs though, we made it up. Water all over the lens. Yeah, this is bleak. I wore a jacket with no hood and it's not waterproof. Well, yeah, so. that's a bad call. I'm sure it looks beautiful. You hear the wind like whipping around this tower. Yeah, it's, it's pretty. I'm booming here. No, it's all right. <laughs> But they did just take down the yeah. scaffolding. <laughs> yeah, they just took down the scaffolding, so at least you can see from up here because two weeks ago you couldn't. So Alright, let's go down. Okay, let's go. We we got up here. I'm ready. Yeah. Okay, Katrina, what'd you think of the tower? My legs are probably gonna hurt tomorrow because that definitely was a leg workout, 465 stairs or something. I really wish it was nicer weather because the view up there was amazing. It was just very blustery, very rainy, quite cold. Would recommend, they just took some of the scaffolding down at the very top, so up until a couple of weeks ago, you couldn't even see out at the top. I wouldn't have paid 14 euros for Did it. Did you notice the giant. fake clock that they put on the side yeah, of the scaffolding? Yeah, I just noticed that, yeah. Save the clock tower. We apologize for this footage because there's gonna be raindrops all over 
the lens here, but. All right, so, uh -huh. yeah, I'm gonna get an eye taken out of this umbrella. It's your own fault. Apparently there's a mark on a street somewhere that shows if the clock tower to the clock, see what you did to me, it's not a clock tower. What did I do? You said save the clock tower. I'll save it. If the Dom Tower were to fall over, that's where it would land. Now, I don't know if they know which way it would fall over, so I need to see what this marking is. We're gonna go find that, and I'm gonna try and get some of the water off this lens. How do you use a sundial with no sun? Completely worthless to me right now. If you wanna be on the vlog, just ask. No, it's just like this. I think Utrecht is unique in that a lot of the canals you can like actually go sit down along the canals it's like the city is built up above all of it which now actually after going underground kind of makes sense to me but everything is like built on top of that old Roman Empire situation man I'm learning so much she is trying to take my eye out be on my side, not on his. Go watch our Instagram to see her side of the story, but this is the reality yeah, of the right. vlog. So I think we would still get hit by the tower right here because we're not to the place yet in the tower. Uh, yeah, I think it's gotta be further down, right? They did the math and they put it on the street. This is where the, the tower would fall. That's these, pretty cool. These windows, yes, yeah, so we would get crushed here. It'd be a bad scene. That's pretty funny, I like that. You like that? Yeah, I think that's fun. It looks like this is too far away, but it's a really tall tower, so I guess that's correct. All right, let's walk to the end of it, see where it falls. This is a bad thing. You're I'm trying to trying hurt me. I'm trying to keep the kill rain me. off trying of to you, kill me. but you're like this, and I can't move like that. You need a, a an umbrella hat, like a headband Please. umbrella so that you can carry the camera but like also keep your uh, hair dry and face dry. She's running, she has to go somewhere quickly. Dead, 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 not dead. She'd live. When doing my extremely thorough and accurate research on Utrecht, I did look up best bakeries. I think it's right, the, the one that kept coming up is right down there. So let's go check it out. So that place is dangerous. I mean, I get that butter cookies are very simple, but those butter cookies were like... She gave us a sample butter cookie. The crispiness and the lightness and oh. We bought a few extra. Uh, they're famous for their bonbon, which is not an ice cream bonbon like a lot of Americans might expect. It's more of like a, a giant, um, what would you call this? Truffle? A giant truffle that has... You cannot see it, I'm sure. There you go. It has the tower. Should we share one? Yeah, I think we should okay, share one. Okay, let's share one. All right. We'll save this one for later. Oh, oh darn. Wait, it's crunchy. Is it like moose? Yeah, it's like a moose almost. It's not oh. super, super sweet. I can smell the chocolate from up there. It's dark chocolate on the outside, so you're not going to love that part. I don't care for dark chocolate. It's very good. That is rich. Oh, it's high quality. Wow. That's good stuff. Dang. The moose inside or whatever that is, that's really good. The I see why they're famous for it. <laughs> Go to the Oblom. So Katrina, what? one last thing I'd like to do before we leave the beautiful city of Utrecht. There's a poem here that's never ending. They add one letter to it every Saturday about one o'clock. So that was a few hours ago. We missed it. Today. We missed it. Before we go find it, what do you think the letter is that they added to the poem today? T. I'm gonna go with Tom. T. Yes. I'm gonna go with E, as in egregious. I thought you were gonna go with Q, as in. It's a bad guess. Q is a bad guess. It smells so good. We walked all the way down here. I don't see any 
damn letters on the ground. Do you? I don't know if it's on the ground or what. They're tiles on the ground. Aren't oh, they? I don't know. We found it, and it's going on forever. Really wish it would end. I, I mean, we have to find out what the letter was that went up today. See if I won. What's the poem about? Your mom. It's an N for Nate. Sorry. I don't well, see we any... both lost because... Oh, this is true. This is a long poem. It's very long. A couple blocks worth. I don't know what it's about. Something in the night and the, the day. Didn't catch all of it. Yeah, it probably doesn't make a lot of sense. It's underwater. See, I think this is super cozy down here. I like this about Utrecht. It's different. It's quieter than Amsterdam. So that's underground Utrecht, that's the top of the tower in Utrecht, that's the longest poem or the endless poem in Utrecht. It's, we're soaking wet right now. We know we always talk about the weather and we're back in the like terrible weather part of the year. Strap in friendly viewers. <laughs> it's gonna look like this for the next five months. We gotta come back to Utrecht, there's more to do here. I wanna kayak on the canals when it's a nice like springtime day, we'll definitely come back. Speaking of canals, didn't you say we were gonna jump in a canal if we get to 10,000 subscribers? We'll never get there, so I can promise that. She's playing with um, you, we'll get there, and then we'll be jumping yeah. in a canal. I think we'll jump in a canal in Amsterdam if you guys subscribe and we get to 10,000. And if you do it soon, it means that we have to jump in a canal in the middle of winter. Oh God. It's gonna be even worse. Maybe so, don't subscribe. You should subscribe. Don't hit the button. And follow us on Instagram too for all the kind of seeds. Come to Utrecht.